lap. We're all very, very pleased with that one. Nice work. Come on, I'll see you back in the pits. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who'll be fronting the grid. A Red Bull, Sainz and Charles Leclerc. Goodbye for now then, but really we're just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. Welcome along to the legendary Suzuka. This classic racetrack boasts a long history dating right back to 1962 when it was first opened. Will more history be written here today at the Japanese Grand Prix? A lap of this historic racetrack covers 3.6 miles. It's the only time during the season that we race on a figure of eight circuit and the drivers can expect some intense G-forces through the 18 corners on offer here as they experience some of the highest average apex speeds on the Formula One calendar. Keep an eye out for overtakes into the final chicane. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. It's Red Bull on pole, and the smooth operator Carlos Sainz completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have... Leclerc, Hamilton, Russell, Verstappen, Gasly, Ocon, Norris, Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Magnussen, Bottas, Stroll, Joe, Albon, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, Sargent, and Nick de Vries. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. And with me, as usual, is Anthony Davidson. Let's have a chat about Williams. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. OK, this is our engine supplier's home Grand Prix, which means there's a lot of very important people here behind the scenes. I'd love to give them a strong result to watch today. Plus, a good result might make my post-race meetings a little bit easier.
Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friends. Well done. That's it then for another fantastic Grand Prix here in Japan. A brilliant victory that has thoroughly earned the applause of the sellout crowd here today. Tell me, Ant, how do they manage to achieve this win? Well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everybody at the team. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Well, not the result our points leader would have wanted, but it certainly makes things interesting going forward. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. No change in the top spot then, but with today's points, their hold on that lead is getting weaker. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time out. Be sure to join us once again as we continue to bring you all the excitement of Formula One.